Hello, this video is brought to you by ricksimpsonoil.co.uk. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the Alpha Cat testing kit to ensure your Rick Simpson oil is of a pure and high quality. We understand many people's anxiety about whether they are buying a product which is the right quality when their life literally depends on it. We are that confident of our quality that we encourage our customers to test our oil as we want to give our customers peace of mind. If you have oil from elsewhere, we would recommend you test it even more so. The Alpha Cat testing kit is an amazing piece of kit. It enables you to test your Rick Simpson oil with ease. AlphaCat created a scientific cannabinoid analysis and detection system in a test kit format to make quality assessment accessible and affordable for everyone. This kit costs £80, which is around US$100. This may seem expensive, however, you can do eight tests and for many people who need to spend over a thousand on their RSO and their health is on the line, £20 per test is a cheap peace of mind. We do not sell the kits ourselves as we want the test to be independent from ourselves. We bought this kit at Alpha Cat's own website. We will add the link in the description below. The first stage is to weigh 100 milligrams of the RSO in one of the eight Eppendorf tubes. We first tear the scale with the tube on it so we can get an accurate reading when the tube is weighed. As you can see, we have 100 milligrams of the Rick Simpson oil in the tubes. Make sure you are wearing the supplied gloves when doing this. The next stage is to use the supplied pipette and take exactly one milliliter and add it to the Eppendorf or extraction tube. When that is done, make sure the lid is sealed and shake vigorously for 10 seconds. It is important that the RSO is well shaken, and before doing this, ensure you close the lid on the extraction fluid as it will evaporate. The next stage is to remove one of the test plates. It is important to be careful with these and treat them with care. In this video, we are only testing the one sample, but we will test it three times to make sure we have consistent results. To extract exactly one microlite, we use one of the 10 supplied capillary tubes, which is placed in a special holder. When the capillary is full to the top, we then release it on the spot on the testing plate. If you are going to test different samples, ensure you change the capillary tubes for each one. Make sure you really take your time when using the capillary tubes. They are quite delicate and probably the most temperamental part of the whole process, although not difficult. Just take your time and look closely at the capillary. With our RSO solution being very dark, if you look closely at the glass tube it will be very clear to see the capillary is full to the top, which is what you want. 
Then you know exactly one microlight is going to be used for each spot on the test plate. The next stage is to release the contents of the capillary tube on each spot on the test plate. Again, take your time. It's a little bit fiddly but perfectly easy to do if you just take your time. Now the test plates have the sample solution on them, see the three red dots. We need to take two milliliters of the test fluid using the pipette and releasing it into the supplied glass beaker. Then carefully lower the test plate into the beaker with the marked test spots at the bottom. It will lean at a slight angle, this is fine. Once this is done, close the lid and leave the test plate to soak up the whole solution. You will see it slowly travel to the top. This will take 25 minutes. Once 25 minutes has passed, you will see that the test plate has soaked up all the solution. The sample has travelled up the plate with the test fluid, so we know that the process has worked well so far. Now, we carefully take out the test plate and leave it to dry for around 5 to 8 minutes. The next stage is to prepare the dipping tray and dye powder. Take one of the two vials which contain the dye and make sure you empty all the contents into the dipping tray. Then using the 25 milliliter beaker, pour 25 milliliters of water into the tray and gently mix it in to ensure the dye has properly dissolved. The next part is to dip the plate with the coated side down into the tray for only one second. The reaction I found was quite aggressive, so I would make sure this is the one part of the test you do not take your time with.
As you can see, we have very clear results. The plate has reacted very well. We now leave the plate to dry for eight minutes. Now, using the supplied chart, we can try to get an idea of the potency of our sample. However, upon using the sizing guide, it is clear that the THC levels are off the charts. We are unable to get an idea of the exact percentage. However, at least we can get a good idea that when our RSO oil is looking like this, we are getting exactly what we have paid for. In the coming weeks, we will be getting our RSO tested at an independent laboratory in Barcelona. That way, we can supply you with exact numbers. We will do this test again to see if we get a different reading and we will do a second video to demonstrate it. We hope this video has been instructive to you and we will be grateful for any likes or subscribers.